Okay, the Vue is kind of nice application because you can import other objects, for example, from different applications and reuse them. Okay, as example, we'll go work with Poser. The one thing to know about Poser, you need to go to Options. Inside the Options, you'll notice right here you have to configure Poser. So if you're not yet done, you can enable. You can select different SDK. Normally, I recommend if for some reason this ability doesn't work, select the latest ones. And also have a path for your Poser. Currently, I have a Poser Pro 2010, so I'll link it to this. If you're not yet set this, first time when you start to import Poser model, it will prompt you and ask to set that path. So let's go click OK. Next, we're going inside the Poser. And right here, I have one default figure already created. So I'm, I'm just going to reuse um, this one. I'll just go adjust it. The nice things about this, I can create pre-animation. So I can import as animation from the poser loop it, or I can import single frames. So when we're done, when you create, you all what you need to do, just go and save it. You don't need export. You don't need to do anything. You just need to save this as a normal poser format. So when you're done, you can go inside view. And right here, we'll use it not a lot. We'll use import object. Okay, we'll open. And one we're looking at is man with poser PZ3 format. So let's open. The several options will pop up on poser import. It will be do you want to group as single mesh? Yes. Some of the options will be increasing quite a bit memories. For example, if you want to using render as poser, also if you allow the reposting, sometimes you want to do this. Reposting, you can change pause of the poser figure inside. It will take time. As well as render using poser share tree. We'll use shaders from poser, but it does um, heavily. We'll use it some uh, properties in a view. But if you work like with the hair from Poser, you probably want to enable these options. I will use use quarter interpolation. So because from triangle convert to quarters. Um, next, right here, if we have animations by default, it's 30 frames or you want single frame. For the still images, you want to use a single frame. Or if you have a specific, you can jump to some that frame of animations. So currently, I will set zero and import. Right here, you notice I have um, figure just imported quite a bit fast. Okay, couple things to notice. Sometimes materials maybe does not import properly. And most of what I found out, currently we don't have it with bump, but bumps, for example, does not represent properly uh, when you import in some cases. So just pay attention to this. Overall, you can go ahead inside and you can modify any of these settings like highlights, transparency, or if you want, you can open and maybe apply your own material to this. Okay, so for example, right here, I want to create a little bit more as a bone looking materials with translucency. So we'll go select here, some effect of absorption and scattering. So we'll create a little bit more as a bone looking effect. So right here, I apply Vue materials to the poser. You'll notice right here, we have it a single mesh again, because I don't want to repose for the memory concern, but you can change. This is easiest way to import. You can also import any other objects from the applications, uh, from uh, hexagon, Maya, any ones, with a special standard. And you can also go and export. This is options work with the VU Extreme Infinity, um, as well with add extra modules inside the complete if you're using that way. Again, I refer you to check if you're interested, go inside the view right here. An example modeling for view in this set of tutorials. Okay, we can go open tutorial list. You can find how you can create models, import textures, and how you can work to specifically modeling external application from the view. As well, in many of our tutorials, I'm using poser figures by importing, readjusting, 
and using them inside the view. So this is very good flexibility for the view to accept almost any fa uh, format of the of the models imported as well. You can export it to almost any applications. Okay, the one other things to know it will go to edit object and when you import with Polygon Mesh you have the options to manipulate and adjust. And many times what's happening right here where we work with the smooth mesh and this you won't change degree because in when you for example in hexagon when you apply texture you'll notice that black uh, conversion for the some texture angles on this case you want go to increase max smooth angle for those textures um, with poser mostly you don't need it but with some imports if you see you probably want to increase to 120 degrees there if you see that black areas on texture as well some meshes you want double sided or single you can decimate to create less polygons bleed. you also can forbid export for specific uh, models if you don't want people for example you create something for the view and you don't want people exporting using other applications you can forbid it you can also invert normals it's uh, in some cases the normals for the texture may be point in wrong direction okay as well you have it turbo smoothing so you can smooth some triangles effect uh, you can allow animation making in animations if you have pre-animated objects um, as well you can quality boost the bake uh, models it's original will take longer because it will bake maybe some lighting and everything but afterwards if you start using it will accelerate after so it's kind of you pay on a beginning and you may save after this is a bake um, to polygons and very useful if you're using for like ecosystem we can create a huge amount of these um, for example models in this case pre-bake now will take time but after when you have millions or thousands of those uh, models in ecosystem it obviously will save a lot of time for you okay so right now you can simulate the quality map accuracy if you want to bake and if we bake now it will take a little bit time so I won't do this but you can try it and see if it will result working for you as well you have options to animate it uh, pre-animate more options if you have it um, again this is if you import with like Maya or Max they will work well for example if you're using um, in a view and you're going to Karnakopi and you see those pre-animations done you can do this same way for your models and if you're interested you can also sell them on Karnakopi as well so this is just a polygon mesh and many times you see how uh, when we create some from primitives to accelerate I bake them in this case the view will detect it will better surfaces so right here this is um, options and of course when you're going to export your object okay you can notice it cannot export it so let's do this way we'll go back to the polygons as default okay and we'll go right now we can save it and if we save this object this object will save as VOB and many times I notice with a poser if you done you want to actually bake and you want to save as an object after this when you load in view it will load up quite a bit fast so it's right now and here is actually what I spoke about this is currently it is a log from export so right here and again if we try to export to this format okay, it should pop up again okay, this is another way so they you can control some content so it does not going directly from one application to another okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio please remember visit us on the web it's www.geekatplay.com